Hello, today we are going to add some tiles to our game. So let's create new node and as node type we are going to use the tile map. So here we have some options, but first we need to create a tile set. So I'm going to click here and click new tile set. Uh, so once tile set is ready, uh, we have here a few options like here we have tile set and tile map. So let's start by creating some tiles. I'm going to click here and select atlas. So when it asks me to provide a uh, pass to the, our assets. So first, but before that, I need to import assets into the game. So I will share the link to the assets. Uh, let's create here a folder. Let's name it tiles. And I'm going to drag this tile set here. So let's see what do we have. So here is our tile set. You see we have here different kind of tiles. So now, now I'm clicking plus create new atlas. And inside of folder tiles, I'm selecting the uh, the style set. It asked me if there were some changes. If I would like to create tiles in the atlas, I'm going to click yes. So here is the, our tiles. So next, what we need to do is to create the physics uh, for uh, for our tiles. So let's click here on the tile set, and we would have some layers. So first, we need to define the physics layer. So let's create. Uh, let's leave it uh, by default and now here on the paint tab I can click here and physic layer 0 become available for me so if I create additional physic layer I would be able to select this additional layer but right now we have just one I can select so this, this is our default you know, mask for our tiles so now I'm going to like we don't need this uh, I'm going to create this physics for each of those tiles. Uh, it won't work for like tiles like this because uh, here physics will be different. So I'm not going to select those. I'm selecting only where uh, I need like collision to be available from every side of a tile. So I'm selecting these tiles. And now we have defined the uh, physics. So if I will create uh, like some area using those tiles, physics automatically would work there and player won't fall through, through those tiles. Uh, next, what we are going to add, that's terrain set. So another tab, so first was physical layer, now terrain, terrain sets. So because we want to modify here terrains, but right now there is no terrains. So let's define terrain. I'm not going to do any changes here. And now I can select here terrains. Uh, so also we need to define this terrain set and I need to define the terrain and I need to provide the name. I believe name of the tiles was something like swamp. So let's use the name here swamp. So I can select swamp here. And now we need to draw our, uh, like we need to kind of show uh, our go dot how to create those uh, tiles automatically. So let's start by defining and we will see. So first I click on this tile and you see I can uh, kind of draw here. So this is the mask which uh, like tile go dot in which case this, uh, this tile need to be drawn. So in this case, we would uh, like, let's start maybe from this one. And here I'm like filling all of the uh, like areas in the square. So that means that we are uh, like go dot would create this particular tile in case when uh, there is the another tail, uh, tiles from every side of of our tile. So, for example, if this center tile, this is the tile which we are going to place. So it will be placed only if there will be tiles from other sides. So let's select all of this. 
uh, maybe we would need to change those because they like everyone have a bit different pattern so I'm not sure exactly how it's going to work but let's fill them and we'll see maybe we will use like we can use just simply one of those tiles but let's like define every because this uh this assets you see there is many similar like uh tiles so uh we'll see how it will work so here i'm selecting only uh bottom part of the game because on the uh top like this tile will be placed only if there is the tiles at the bottom and we will, I will repeat same here, same here, and this. And let's continue this for every of those tiles. So I wonder how um, GoDot would draw them if we have similar uh, pattern for uh for those tiles but let's experiment and we'll see how it will work okay so now i selected this terrain i'm not going to use any of those right now what we're going to do next is open the world scene but i forgot to save uh let's save the theme scene save now let's go to the world and we need to add here our tile map okay and i can draw like i can choose any of those elements but also i have the terrain so i can like do it by uh, kind of draw manually so i can select this i can add then this i can like i can create any shape which i want but also we created this terrain terrain should allow us to do this automatically so you see i can kind of draw and go dot automatically identify which tile should be placed in every location so let's create some simple uh like something like this it's work a bit weird okay no it's it's everything fine let's create some platform here to jump let's create some platform here some another thing here and let's delete this uh, static budget 2d which previously was added as our kind of tiles for player not to fall so let me delete those delete nodes yes and i think i did it um uh, too high but it should be good for now but also i can in the right i can click right mouse of uh, right bottom of my mouse and i can erase so let's define something new a bit more at the bottom uh, let's add something here to, to jump something here and make sure our player cannot go in this direction something like this so it's kind of our level so now let's start the game so you see our, our collision is working player is not falling down and also it can like can, can jump everything's working fine uh so that's all for today video in next video we continue working with the tiles um thank you for watching and have a nice day